Hi, I'm Matt, and I like 3D printing. Uh, today we're looking at a strange thing in Bamboo Studio. I was trying to print a part within another part, and it just wasn't working the way I needed it. So I finally figured out how to do it, so I thought I'd share that with you now. Hmm. Uh, so in Tinkercad, assume you have something like this. So you've got a block like that, uh, and a sphere as well. I'm gonna just make that 16. So this sphere is actually gonna fit inside now, but for now, I'm just gonna pop that on top, um, drag it over, and now sit it down, get rid of that work plane, and then uh, make sure everything's all hunky doy. So we've got our two parts made, and the thing here is I want to be able to print these in different colors in Bamboo Studio using uh, different filaments on my MS. So if I swap into Bamboo Studio here, add the two parts in, and it's gonna prompt you to say, load these files as a single object with multiple parts. You go, yes, please, thank you very much, in they come. They're gonna choose the first filament by default, but what you find is you've got one uh, object with multiple parts. Very nice. Let's say we're gonna make the box uh, this color. If we slice that, what we'll see is we get two nice parts, and we can be pretty confident that's gonna print the way we want it to. No bloody worries. However, what if we actually want this sphere to be inside our square? So first thing we do, just for ease, I'm gonna set that as transparent. Now, we know that the sphere is 16 and the box is 20. So if I drop that down 18, that means I've now got two mil around everything. If I now export the sphere with its new coordinates, that's still, that's good. If we bring those two parts in again, yes please, here's our box. If we assign the box to be that colour, now what I've done is I've set the opacity uh, of the filament to be 25% just so it's easy to see, so that we can see that we've got inside the, the sphere inside the box. But here's the thing, if you slice that now, you can see by the print that it's actually just going to completely ignore the sphere. Now I spent all sorts of time trying to work this out and I found out what the thing is and you're not going to believe it. You need to specify the order of the parts correctly. So if you slice it again now, hallelujah. I don't know why this is, my guess is maybe the box is the one with the Z on the bed whereas the sphere is technically floating and bamboo doesn't know how to, to deal with that. But if you print that now, that will print correctly. And there it is, my cube with a sphere printed inside. How annoying is that? That has taken me ages to figure that out and I hope it helps somebody.